hello and welcome to today's discussion on application of MIS in the area of production or operation management system. It has been said that functional information systems are backbone of any organization growth. So definitely as we are discussing that how management information system is being used for increasing efficiency of production or operations management in any organization. Today we are going to discuss about the production and operation part of this area. If we discuss about the management information system definition, it comprises of three terms, management, information and system. As we already know that management is a process of getting work done by others or getting things done through others with the people in a formally organized group. Whereas information can be defined as data that have been processed into meaningful and useful context. There is a simple phenomena that there is a data, data processed is converted into information, information processed they convert into knowledge and knowledge which is applicable for the betterment of the society is called wisdom. So there is a data pyramid also. Then system is an organization or complex whole consisting of interrelated parts and subparts in orderly management according to the sum scheme or plan. So if we integrate all these three units management information system so we can say MIS is a system that provide relevant information to manager for getting things done. Loudon and Loudon also discuss about the thing this MIS the field of management information system tries to achieve this broader information system literacy. MIS deals with behavioral issues as well as technical issues surrounding the development use and impact of information system used by managers and employees in the firm. So we can easily identify that MIS is a system which comprises of different technology related to information and it will be used for the employee as well as different personnel of organization for the different areas applications. If we discuss the today's topic production information system we can see in every business organization processing of input is required to produce outputs. Here is an interesting fact that manufacturing organization this process is known as production whereas in non-manufacturing organization it is known as operations for example banking operations for example there are health care management or hospital operations are there but whereas if you go to factory of productions say for example uh, biscuit manufacturing or bucha manufacturing in Bikaner, so it's called production unit. Production function involves transformation of a set of input into predetermined output in accordance with the objective of the organization. Production management encompasses the design, implementation, operation and control system made up of people, material, capital equipment, money and information to accomplish some objectives as to meet customers need achieved lowest possible cost and achieve desirable quality. In simple word we can say uh, there is a 5M formula man, machine, material, money and method. These 5M is one of the input section, one of the input unit uh, contribution. Then they get into processing. Within processing we have seen that there are two kinds of processing labor oriented and capital oriented. Then if we see the output, the output is tangible on tangibility basis it is goods or services. So we can see this IPO input processing output system it within production system it have a very simple objectives. First of all they should need uh, meet the customer need. Second this they provide a lowest possible cost of production then they provide a desirable quality of production. If we see the production information system diagram or the model we can see there is again input then database then output and the users. In production information system or PIS there is industrial engineering subsystem and production intelligence subsystem. We will discuss about the things. They, they both of these subsystem contribute to the database of PIS and out of this database there are output subsystem which gives manufacturing subsystem, inventory subsystem, quality subsystem and cost subsystem and they provide different kind of information to make production managers and managerial departmental personnel more equipped with the decision making and all information outcome information used by the users. So this is really an interesting 
diagram to know if we see production information system input subsystem as we already see the diagram industrial engineering subsystem concerned with analysis of production system and setting production standards this subsystem focus on internal mechanism of the production system so definitely the internal standard of production and other settings related to the production system is built by industrial engineering subsystem production intelligence subsystem basically focus on various input that go into manufacturing system for example raw material labor energy energy in the form of electricity oil and fuel and definitely machineries so these all are the input and for getting the information about this input this has to go beyond the boundaries of organization these both input subsystem leads us to data processing within data processing system it provide data about the uses of these input which are used for planning and control of acquisition and uses of various inputs if we discuss about the output subsystem there are four output subsystem as we already know manufacturing subsystem measures the production process in term of time tracking of workflow from one step to the next so definitely manufacturing subsystem discuss about what is manufacturing at which stage this is the uh, material is on at which stage so how it is moving to the next all scheduling and everything is discussed under this manufacturing subsystem while inventory subsystem it measures the volume of production activity as the raw material are transformed into work in progress and finally into finished products there are different terms being used in inventory subsystem basically there is in inventory information system also so you have already i hope you have heard this term git just in time that is nothing but inventory management system in japan what happened because of the paucity of the space or limitation of the raw material uh, storage the production unit purchase the material at the same time the supply chain dependency and supply chain efficiency is so much that the production unit can pr procure their raw material on desired time so they can manage their manufacturing efficiency in that way so there is a term called abc always better control so this abc method of uh, inventory management discuss about we classify the product or the material into three bases a are the material or the category which have high cost but low volume b is having moderate cost and moderate volume whereas c has high volume but low cost for example we take goldsmith if one goldsmith prepare earrings with gold so it use additional metal plus coal as material so gold is a category material where it it need less volume but high money whereas in b that other material they involve less money and comparatively high or maybe relative high volume then in case of c there is coal that is really very high volume and less cost accordingly then there is a term called economic order quantity so how to order when to order what is the right time to order and how much to order to make it most cost efficient order so inventory information system gives idea about this one then quality subsystem so it measures quality at different stages of manufacturing operations quality defined by customers achieved by management and organization wide responsibility so quality is really an important concern of this production information system so there is a total quality management term is given then there are different tools which we will discuss in next slide there are graphical tools and statistical tool whereas cost subsystem measures various cost involved in the production system these are the graphical tools process flow chart check sheet pareto analysis histogram cause effect diagram scatter diagram and control chart whereas in statistical side we can see statistical quality control on the basis of the statistical formulation the quality has been analyzed and lot rejected or accepted for the standard as per the organization if we see the managerial use of production information system there are different users production director are there then plant superintendent production planning managers engineering managers quality control managers purchase managers inventory control manager and other department are using the information related provided by manufacturing subsystem inventory subsystem quality subsystem and cost subsystem 
so if we discuss in a nutshell that organization have production information system to make their production capability more robust if they know right information about what kind of raw material they have to purchase according to the market rates according to the different situation for example in in this present time of epidemic there is a shortage of raw material supply from the different international bodies or international organization so definitely how to source the raw material where is the best suitable material available so in that case if production information system give a production manager or unit manager the information about how to order when to order and how much will be the best quantity so these all thing has been taken care by this pms it is really interesting to know without pms even things can be managed but if we go the international standard or the global organization system if we know the procurement point and every system has been associated so in that way centralized procurement and centralized distribution will be there so that will give more edge over the other competitor firms so economy scale of economies has been achieved by the using of such production information system so now we'll discuss about the quiz there are different uh, statements has been given the first is called mis is a system that provide relevant information to manager for getting things done is it right yes it is right processing of input in manufacturing organization is known as operations whereas in a non manufacturing organization this is known as production is it right no it's reversed in manufacturing organization it is called production whereas in non manufacturing it is called operations inventory sub system is a part of pim input sub system is it right basically inventory sub system is a part of production inventory management or production information system output sub system jit stands for just in time technology tqm stands for total quality management that is right answer pareto analysis is statistical tool used for production information system is it right no it's a wrong answer pareto analysis is graphical tool to use for production information system sqc stands for statistical tool used by pis it is right answer so there are different question also given like you can write down short note on economic order quantity or eoq then who are the users of production information system share in brief then without going back to this presentation draw the model of production information system at your feet then compare graphical and statistical tools of pis let me share interesting fact about economic order quantity in economic order quantity there is different cost related to preparing an order there is annual cost then carrying cost and ordering cost so if we discuss about economic order quantity the formula is eoq is equal to under root of 2 ao upon c a means annual carrying cost o means ordering cost and c means carrying over the c means carrying cost so annual requirement then ordering cost then carrying cost these combination of these fact gives a quantity that what we should order by this statistical calculation we'll get to know the quantity how much one organization as per their annual requirement and their ordering cost has to be ordered for example if it is suitable to give four orders definitely quarterly order should be there and if it is suitable for two orders definitely half yearly order will be there or maybe annually that decision can be taken similarly there are ved analysis so these kind of different tools used for production efficiency as you already has been studied in your production and operation management field so definitely i wish i believe that this uh, session is useful for you to give a fair idea how management information system is helping to managers to take the right decision in the at the right time to make production Uh, production process of an organization very efficient thank you so much keep learning